Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. Today we're taking a look at the new Primal Attack Massive Biters, Sarcosuchus. I ended up finding this figure on store shelves at Target along with the Tarbosaurus. Right now, Target is in the middle of resetting their toy aisle, so if you still haven't found this figure yet, just keep on checking. They do have a dedicated spot for the Massive Biters on the shelves. This figure does retail for $19.99 and it's also available on Amazon. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon if you feel like ordering this figure online. So before I crack open this Super Croc, let's take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in the new Primal Attack style box. You got the Primal Attack logo right here. With the Jurassic World logo, you got the sunset in the background with the paddock fences. You got the ever persistent Owen and Blue on the front of the box. And spinning it around, you get a nice full art picture of the Sarcosuchus showing off that massive biters action feature and then in the corner right here you have a picture of its wave mate the Tarbosaurus which right now is my favorite figure so far in the new primal attack line so with this packaging nonsense over let's crack this thing open and take a closer look and here is the Sarcosuchus out of the packaging and I have to admit when the first promotional images of this figure came out I really didn't like this figure. I really had no interest in picking it up. And then when it started shipping and people started posting their in-hand images, it did look a little bit better to me, but I still wasn't convinced if I should get it. And then when I saw it the other day at Target, I gave it a look over and it is a really nicely detailed and sculpted figure. So I do not regret picking it up. So before we take a closer look at this figure, let's do a couple quick measurements. Sarcosuchus was a very large crocodile-like reptile that was discovered in the Cretaceous period of Africa. This figure is about 14 inches long from the bend in the tail to the tip of the snout or about 15 inches long if you can uncurl this part of the tail and just over four inches tall to the top of the little bola on top of its snout right there. So Sarcosuchus was about 38 feet long. So with those measurements, I'll put this figure somewhere in the 130 scale range. Moving on to the color scheme of this figure, I've been commending the Primal Attack line for having you know multiple colors on their figures. I know with Dino Rivals, we got a lot of two-tone figures. This is one of the first of the new sculpt figures that is actually two-toned, but I think it actually does work for this figure. The upper body coloration is almost a burgundy color, and then the main body is just like a darker green coloration. I think it just works for this figure, you know, underneath it. I wouldn't mind a like a cream coat for the belly underneath the jaw, but other than that, I think this color scheme really works well for this figure. So let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure. The whole head and even the whole body is just beautifully sculpted with a lot of large scales and details on it. You can see the eye is painted in yellow with a black pupil. The teeth are painted in off-white color and they are nice and sharp looking. The only paint blemish I found on this figure is when you turn around right here, just a little bit of that white paint is on the head right here. And then looking inside the mouth, you can see the tongue has a nice gloss coat over it. And actually the tongue is very textured, especially towards the back of the throat right here. And even turning it, looking at the underside of the top jaw right here, they even actually added gum tissue up there. Sometimes on the Mattel figures, when you look at the upper jaw, it's just the same color as the base plastic. So that is a nice touch right here. And you got the gum line is painted in a reddish color. And then turning it around, you can see all those nice belly scales are really nicely sculpted on this figure. And since we have the figure turned over, here is the scan code for the Fax app if you want to scan it in there. And then turn the figure to the side, you can see a lot of beautiful, beautiful scale detail. All those osteoderms and scoots are beautifully sculpted on this figure. A lot of nice detail. I saw an amazing repaint of this figure on Instagram and that also helped me sell me on this figure. It's just really detailed. These Mattel figures really pop when people do custom repaints on them and going down to the front legs right here you can see a lot of large scales sculpted in the claws on the front and back feet are not painted in and then going down to the tail you can see those row of spikes just getting larger and larger as you go down to the tip of the tail and even the underside of the tail is sculpted in beautifully you can see little flecks of black molded into the paint which is pretty common for the Mattel figures so all in all this is a great figure even the bola on the end of the snout which is this enlarged region on the nose you know paleontologists thought that maybe it might be a form of sexual dimorphism that 
It had this large snout that the males had it. But all the Sarkasuka skulls found so far had this feature, so right now they really don't know what it was used for. So let's move on to articulation. This figure does have some decent articulation. The front legs can move forwards 360 degrees. They are on a hinge, so you can swing the front legs out if you choose to. And then going down to the back legs, they are on a hinge, like a ratchet joint. They do click and lock into place in their neutral position. And the back legs are also on a pivot like most of the larger Mattel figures. So let's move on to the main gimmick of this figure. Since it is part of the massive biters line, it does have an action feature. And right here on the base of the tail is a button that controls the jaws and also using the tail rotating it from side to side causes the head to also rotate from side to side so let's get a victim out here we will get a nice little colovasaurus going to the riverbank to catch a drink and the sarcasuchus will try to clamp on to the head of this animal and then just shake it to death get that nice little death roll action doesn't really grip onto these you know smaller figures so let's get one of the human figures out and we all know who it's going to be. Poor John Hammond. The guy always getting killed in these videos. So let's... Yes, that works really well. I love the death roll look on this figure. Definitely a fun, fun action feature on the Sarkasukas. Alright, let's move on to some comparisons. Might as well start with its previous victims. Here it is with the Attack Pack Colovasaurus and John Hammond. And here it is with its wave mate, the awesome looking Tarbosaurus. I, I absolutely love this figure. I love the new species that we're getting in Primal Attack right now. I think they all look fantastic. And here it is with probably my second favorite figure in Primal Attack, the Cryolophosaurus. And here it is with the Extreme Chomp and T-Rex repaint. And speaking of T-Rex, I know I said I was probably done with the Rexes after this one came out, but Mattel just announced an ultimate electronic T-Rex, so I guess my cycle of continuously buying T-Rexes will continue. And here it is with the Battle Damage Spinosaurus. Sarcosuchus and Spinosaurus have been found pretty much in the same area, and this figure right here is a repaint of the Chaos Effect Night Hunter Spinosaurus. So final thoughts on this figure. I know I said at the beginning of the video that I really had no interest in picking this figure up at first, but after getting it in hand and messing around with it, I am so glad I picked this figure up. It has a really nice sculpt. There's a lot of beautiful detail on this figure. You know, the paint job is okay, but the action feature is really fun on it. So I do highly recommend you pick this figure up. And also, like I said at the beginning of the video, this figure is currently being found at Target, but you can also order it on Amazon. Link is in the description. So that will do it for the review. And as always, if you're liking the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.